What's up guys, I'm back with an update video here. So, this is after Cornhusker Chaos 2022. Um, ran my truck, brother ran my Ford, and then we ran the duo car. Um, so, I'm just gonna start over here and work my way back. So, Rylan ran this. He made a pretty hard head-on hit. And this truck does not have a tranny brace, so it shattered the bell housing on it. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there's a line there. Broke that. It's still moving after it broke, and then it. Uh, this truck never had a slider, so it maxed the uh, the yoke out inside of there, and then shattered the drive shaft. Here's the. There's a piece of the bell housing, and then this is a yoke on the front side. So yeah, it broke that. Um, other than that, he got hit there again. Something poked through right there. Truck did not bend that I'm aware of. There might be a bubble or something in the frame, but I'm not sure. Got hit pretty good over here, and I'm fairly certain that it pushed this bottom door bar in. But, oh well. And then I hit him back here accidentally with my pickup. So yeah, that happened. Um, he got fifth or sixth, fourth, I don't remember. He did pretty good though for not having a tranny brace or anything. Truck's still straight. Um, but yeah, dual car, we were going real hard with it. Um, made a nice rear end shot um, on a couple people. Ignore, I mean, it was folding pretty perfect and then we took this shot that destroyed the wheel and pushed our passenger door in, or I guess the driver's side rear door in. Pushed it in quite a lot. Bent it right around my cage. I broke my helmet on either the pillow pillar or the halo bar when we took that hit. But it bent our rim quite a bit. And then when he hit that, that side of our bumper was in a wheel well. So it tore that out and then it dropped this rail down. This rail used to be much lower. But trunk idea worked not as good as we were hoping for but it did and then the latch came undone so this just folded up so this will this car will get run again oh yeah thing that took us out is shattered our bell housing off when we did that last hit in reverse and this dude came and smoked us and so yeah i'm pretty sure that axle's still fine but you know the rest of the car is I mean, it's fine too. I don't, it moved up like an inch or so up front. But that could have been, um, after they pulled us out, they hooked their chain on our bumper. And this uh, core support, the washer went through the core support, so there's nothing holding it up, which is why that's loose. So that could be that reason. And then he got a hit in the door over here and but whatever. Yeah, so that held up pretty good. We got last in that car because we were out pretty quick, but we were hitting people pretty hard. Um, and then my truck. Um, <clears throat> never really ran right, and the train is slipping from the start. But I pulled home the second place. Um, completely smoked the tranny. I'll work on getting the video uploaded sometime. For all of it uh, right there towards the end if you guys watched I was up against the berm in the corner my one switch blew apart so I ripped the wires apart and I was just holding them together so that's why I wasn't driving the best but still got that second place after smoke the tranny um, I rolled a guy too that um, the guy that rolled me in 2019 is who I rolled again. The rear frame bent quite a bit. 
It's like bent down on the one side. I got hit a couple times here, and then I got hit in the passenger drawer quite a bit. Pretty hard, I guess you could say, because it pushed my bottom door bar in. Thing. Yeah. Shifted the cage over my down bar. This thin material, but it broke away. Um, but I think, honestly, it might have bulged up my dash bar here because there's some ripples in the paint. So I could have bent my dash bar, but it's not enough to really worry about. Front end didn't move at all. Um, bumper held up fine. I got hit there head on after the truck was, after I shut it off, and it still didn't bend. Steering, surprisingly, still had all of it. I popped my tire though, when I got hit in the side there. Um, bent the rim and then I bent my bead lip in on the back. That is easy fix. I'm pretty sure the tire's still good, so I'll just beat that bead lip back out and it'll be fine. But I'm pulling this truck apart, pushing it out in the weeds, if anybody would want to buy it. We actually have four trucks that we'd sell right now. This one, pretty sure my Ford, and then my brother's square body Chevy with Super Duty frame, and then my dad's uh, square body Chevy with a 69 high boy frame. They're all be for sale. Um, all as not even rollers, they're gonna have rear ends pulled and drivetrain and all that stuff, but you know, if you're interested in some hard trucks and your rules are pretty flexible, then let us know. But yeah, got me a trophy and stuff, which is good. Adding to the collection, but you know. All right, well, please like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see more of. Thanks.